Scott and Angie Denny grew up living an outdoor lifestyle. A lifestyle filled with adventure. A lifestyle filled with a rich family heritage that led them to Table Mountain. and this is Life at Table Mountain. Today we're coming to you on location at Cabela's in Glendale, Arizona. Today we have longtime returning client Carl Crouch. He's with us on a pronghorn mule deer archery combination. Carl just bought the new Matthew Z7 and he can't wait to try it out. So let's see how he does. Well, to begin with, uh, I've hunted with Table Mountain Outfitters uh, for uh, bear in Idaho uh, on three different occasions, and I wanted to uh, do a mule deer hunt, and they said that that is, you know, one of the services they provide, and so this year I uh, booked a combination mule deer and pronghorn antelope hunt. Uh, in Wyoming, and uh, we're here. Carl heads to the blind just as the Wyoming sun is coming up. The day will heat up fast and pronghorn could come to the water at any time. I dropped Carl off early in the morning to one of our rhino ground blinds. Typically, when we drop a hunter off in a blind, we stick close by in a pickup just to keep an eye on him. A few quick readings with his Nikon rangefinder, and Carl knows that it's 22 yards to the cattle tank. First morning we get up and uh, uh, for this first day's hunt, Angie uh, Denny is my uh, guide. And so she takes me out to a uh, pop-up blind over a water hole, and it's about 6.30. And so we're in the blind, we get all set up, and an hour goes by, and we spot several animals, but then right uh, about that time, uh, a nice mule deer uh, comes in on our left and Carl is ready for it.
Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Matthews Solo Camp, catch us if you can. Havilon Knives, never lose your edge. And Timney Triggers, field proven accuracy since 1946. Since 1961, you've trusted Cabela's gear. Celebrate 50 years of legendary selection and service. Find big savings on all the gear you need. Backed by our legendary guarantee. Shop your way online at cabelas.com, by catalog, or in-store. And register for a chance to win one of 50 Chevy trucks during our 50 years, 50 truck sweepstakes. Count on Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. This Z7 Extreme is the hot ticket. It's as maneuverable as you can get. Versatile, lightweight, compact bow. It's got a long brace height, and that allows you to have the accuracy that you need. It is so smooth shooting. I'm going to have the confidence to make the shot. It's perfect, but inside the blind. The bow for stalking. This bow's the real deal. With the Z7 Extreme, I can make those extremely difficult shots. Life at Table Mountain, brought to you by Bowhunting.com, your number one source for bow hunting products and information. We want you to experience Life at Table Mountain. So log on to LifeAtTableMountain.com and register to win a free pronghorn hunt with us. Yeah, come out and see us. Welcome back to Life at Table Mountain. This week we're coming to you on location from Glendale, Arizona at the Cabela store. I love shopping at a Cabela store, especially when I don't have Scott with me. <laughs> Angie heads into Cabela's to see what kind of damage she can do to her Cabela's Visa card. I might even fill up two carts. A special thanks to Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. Now let's get back to the hunt. The 
buck walks out of the shooting lane, but with his Matthews bow in hand, Carl patiently waits for him to return. Good shot. Look like a pretty good shot. Okay. Got lucky, I guess. Oh, that's all it takes, right? You bet. Oh, oh gosh, Carl. Congratulations. Oh, I thank you so much. He's over there. He's over here. Oh, very good. Let's go see. Very nice. Perfect shot and everything. Yeah. Beautiful. Get in here. I'll switch it. You hold. You pick him up. Let's show them off. Oh wow. That is gorgeous. That's beautiful. Awesome. Very nice. For a first bow kill for me. Yes. I, I couldn't and, be happier. And let's see, you were in the blind for a whole hour maybe? Probably an hour. <laughs> uh, about 7.30. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> uh, well, sometimes you get lucky. That's right. Well, it's Scott's favorite saying, he'd rather be lucky I'd, than good. I would too, any day. I'll That's take, right. I'll take that. Real nice velvet. Oh, yeah. And got a couple of brow times. Wow, and they, that should stay. So if you, you know, if you want to have it mounted with the, yeah, with the velvet on there, that should, that should keep real well. well I'm super proud of that. You should be. That put me onto a good spot. And, Absolutely. Uh, and I sure thank you and Scott both and Table Mountain Outfitters. It all comes together and uh, for a first mule deer hunt. Uh, and a perfect shot? Well, for me it might be perfect. <laughs> it's a little bit I like light, it. But, uh, oh, it's it still in there, yeah, though. Yeah, well, it didn't run far. No. And, uh, that's the way we want it. That's right. Quick. That's what we're looking for. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Life at Table Mountain.
Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Rhino Ground Blinds, Rhino Tough. Angie drives us to the water hole um, at a different location. Uh, we see uh, a nice buck on the way in that's uh, not too far from the water hole, but uh, you don't ever know if that's going to come in. But anyway, we're sitting over the water hole and uh, probably 6.30 in the morning again. And uh, oh, 8 o'clock, we have uh, animals showing up. But about right around 9.30 is when all the action starts in. So with his mule deer tag filled, Carl sets his sights on pronghorn. Carl knows he wants this pronghorn, but this buck just won't commit to come into water. He goes out uh, a ways from us. I think he's going to leave, but uh, we sit patiently. He makes it back in. He leaves again. Uh, this just cat and mouse game goes on. Uh, for a little while and finally he starts to make his way in and uh, I'm set up to shoot straight because that's where he's been coming but he uh, makes his way on the left side uh, at an angle that I'm not really ready for uh, he finally commits to the water trough on the left instead of the water hole where I'm wanting him to go um, and he goes to get the drink and so that's going to be the only shot that I've got and I'm sitting there uh, trying to pull this bow back and I'm at an odd angle where I can't pull it. But with a little persistence Carl manages to get to full draw. Now it's time for the field tip of the week brought to you by Timney Triggers. One of the first things I do when a hunter steps into my truck is check their scope. I always check to see what the power is on because most people just got done shooting their rifles at the target range and then they always like to turn their scopes up to full power, which is fine. But while you're hunting, you'll always want your scope turned down low to about three or four. This way, it's always easier to find your target in the scope. Life at Table Mountain.
Life at Table Mountain. Now let's get back to the water hole. Carl is at full draw and he has a shot, so he takes it. three, four times, made his way back in, got real skittish on us each time. He finally came in, but when I could not draw the bow back. I don't know whether you noticed that or not, but I could not pull that bow back. I finally got it back, and uh, he didn't come to the water hole, he went to the trough on our left. Carl gets out of the blind and puts his orange flag out. Okay. When a hunter shoots an animal, they put an orange flag on top of the blind to signal us they have an animal down. Angie sees the flag and is there within minutes, but this time she has brought some other clients along. It's Joel and Janice Maxfield from Matthews. I see something on the hill up there. Did, did you see it? I did. Oh. How long ago? Oh, uh, about 9.30. Oh my gosh, are they making you sit here? <laughs> Actually, it's their fault. Yeah, we were. Uh, it was our sorry. fault. Sorry. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that looks like a nice antelope. Yeah. Nice to yeah. too. Well, thank you. Wow. Uh, listen, I'm just, you're talking about a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> I am the man on that. <laughs> yeah. That's a great looking antelope. Well, it, it's what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. You know, That's I, all that matters. I, I'm not, I don't have a disappointed bone in my body <laughs> on, on either animal, I'm telling you. Well, you did good. He's right up there. Yeah. <laughs> Where was he at? Uh, Can you see this uh, trough right here? Yeah. On the, out the far as he can get over there against that little fence. Oh, okay. With his head in that water. He's probably 15, 20 yards. Right, about 16, I think. And uh, talking about having to thread the needle. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, dead. I'm leaning against this, and I couldn't pull that bow back. I, I, I had it like this, and he was over here, and I struggled, and, it, and I grunted, and it didn't come back. And, and I'm getting wondering, is this shot going to happen? Uh, wow. Look at the blood. Wow. You can, well, can you not see the yeah. trail? <laughs> look at that. Oh. You can see. Uh, you can blood trail him 60 yards <laughs> from standing right here. That's and I always unreal. tell my hunters you can't see blood in the, on the ground out here. <laughs> well, I'm telling <laughs> that you, that's why I'm saying that. Like a spray can. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> it did. It it uh, wow. it put it on it. Carl? What? Was he all alone? No, there was a uh, doe and two fawns, and they they would come in, or and leave, come in and leave, oh, yeah. and uh, he. Uh, I don't know, I didn't think he was ever going to come on in, but he, uh, did. well, Johnny kept saying, he's thirsty, he'll be back, he'll be back. <laughs> but I was beginning to wonder, but uh, I guess that's pronghorn for you. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Oh, he's cool. Wow. He's great. Good job. All right, thank you. Look at that. Let me sneak in here. Can we put that bow down here? Yeah. Okay. Turn it off. Oh, we turn it that way. Perfect. Hmm. Put that up there. Look at that. Very nice, Carl. Oh, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm uh, couldn't be more happy. It's a perfect uh, hunt. Uh, third day of the hunt. Uh, didn't know if it was going to happen or not, but <laughs> the way. Well, had some entertainment yesterday. Uh, we had great time yesterday. <laughs> uh, 
good uh, company in that blind and uh, stories. We didn't have uh, a buck come in, but we had plenty of stories in, uh, and then the, the sheep, the sheep uh, came running in there and uh, got us all excited because we, you know, we look out all the time and all of a sudden we hear hooves coming around the corner and uh, that stinking sheep come in there and uh, we got a little entertainment from him or her, I guess is a, a you, but that animal right there is uh, fine for me. Uh, yeah, that's great. That's good. Job. Well, I'm I'm really pleased. Couldn't couldn't be any better. Congratulations, Carl! You took two great animals with us this week. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to tune in next week for an all new episode of Life at Table Mountain. For more information on booking your hunt with Table Mountain Outfitters, log on to lifeattablemountain.com or call 307-632-6352. Life at Table Mountain has been brought to you by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Matthews Solo Cam, catch us if you can. Havalon Knives, never lose your edge. And Timney Triggers, field proven accuracy since 1946.